Good morning, everybody. So this uh, session on novel techniques and approaches in basic science. Uh, chairs of this session are Professor Laurie Oerder from uh, University of Pittsburgh. I'm Axel Foreman, University of Aarhus in Denmark. Uh, please uh, turn off your mobiles, uh, take your seats. Uh, we have a tight program, so we will ask the speakers to keep uh, three minutes for the presentation, and we will then have three minutes for questions. And the uh, first speaker is uh, Dr. Lee uh, from the University of California, San Diego, who is going to speak on monitoring electrical uh, signal from the healthy human bladder, a stepping stone to develop a high-resolution, non-invasive urodynamic study. Please, Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'd like to thank the two ICS review committee moderators and guests uh, for an opportunity uh, today to present. This is our uh, disclosure. Conventional urodynamic study has been widely utilized to determine uh, bladder physiology, and it has been considered as one of the gold standard diagnostic tool for overactive bladder. However, implementation of conventional UDS requires several challenges. Therefore, there is a need for a non-invasive ambulatory diagnostic tool to monitor for uh, bladder detrusal overactivity. We hypothesize that our non-invasive UDS system has sufficient resolution to sense dysfunctional changes in the bladder and provides a diagnostic value of overactive bladder in individuals. In current study, we aimed to test the ability of our non-invasive UDS system to uh, sense uh, bladder in healthy uh, individuals. We combined a expertise of bioengineers and translational scientists and urologists to demonstrate the feasibility of our non-invasive UDS system that can be used to interpret cutaneous myelectrical recordings from urinary bladder. Our system includes a surface electrode, which were applied to the skin of the lower abdomen and suprapubic region in 10 subject, an ECG EMG cable and cytone board, which is a data uh, collecting device. And uh, data was wirelessly transferred to the open BCI and then we use the Jupyter Notebook, a user-friendly interface for code design to eliminate the noise signal and specifically sort out letter signals. Uh, this slide briefly shows our setting with each component of the properties of the electrical signal, which are frequency, gain, and filters uh, to successfully record, record uh, signal from the uh, urinary bladder. Here's an example of our data set showing uh, the electrical signal from urinary bladder. Each plot uh, shows the changes of the voltage of the electrical signal, and then you can see dramatic differences after applying artifact rejection filter, uh, which are shown on the right as compared to the left. Here's another example of the data set showing directionality of the wave propagation from two subjects over the course of pre-boundary and post-voiding. Briefly, our non-invasive UDS system shows consistent directionality of the wave propagation of the urinary bladder. Other plots shows the number of uh, waves at each different speed. From these plots, we have a speed distribution plot showing um, uh, the electrical signal from each subject. So each scale shows the number of waves at each different speed from each different subject. Interestingly, all 10 subjects shows, uh, show less than uh, 10 number of waves at each different speed, uh, which are relatively lower number than those in other two voiding phases. In summary, our non-invasive UDS system has reliable sensitivity to detect myoelectric and physiologic changes in the bladder. Given that uh, our intersubject precision suggests its potential as a non-invasive diagnostic tool, 
We next aim to perform non-invasive UDS recording in parallel with the conventional UDS to study the correlation between the parameters shown today and conventional parameters, including pressure and volume of the urinary bladder. Thank you. Are there any other questions from the audience? From University of Pittsburgh. Uh, using this approach, do you think you could differentiate, say, a neurogenic overactivity from myogenic? Uh, at this point, we didn't uh, go that path, but once we fully characterized the uh, basic understanding of the uh, electrical signal from urinary bladder, we can uh, aim to that path uh, because our system is also applicable, we believe, to the rodent study. So we can um, detect the signal from different animal model targeting uh, myoelectric or other kinds and then see how differential signal we can detect. Thank you. Uh, Jeroen Vorm, Leiden University. Um, question about how, how can you discriminate between the EMG signals of the bladder versus all the other muscles in and around the pelvic floor? That's a good question. So in our study, uh, when we set up the band pass filter to sort out signal, we intentionally um, have the higher detect of higher frequency to avoid the signal from GI tract, as well as also the signal from the heartbeat. But also, we can always go back to the data set, which has the full spectrum of the frequency data, and then uh, use the notch filter to sort out uh, signal from other organs. So the beauty of this technique is you can always go back to the original data set and then design different set of code to specifically sort out signal, uh, which means eliminate the neighboring um, surrounding organ signal as well. Okay, and, and at what frequency the bladder is then? Is it low or high? Um, so there are some uh, variability from previous publication. So we try to cover the uh, common frequency range. So the range, um, how uh, we set up shown here, it's between 30 hertz and 120. But we also had another publication uh, targeted lower frequency. So now we are working on um, our reanalysis to go back to the data set and then expand the, our band pass filter to see how the data will look, look like. Okay. That's our next step to do. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. So our next paper is uh, presented by Dr. Akita from University of Pittsburgh, novel telemetry recordings from the urinary bladder and external urethral sphincter in awake, freely mobile mice.